Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and Gaming J's hands in the flesh. Today, we are playing Trism. It is a game from 2008 in active development until 2020. No, actually, I, that's just sort of the copyright. I guess the copyrights expired, though, because they only went to 2020. Anyway, today, Trism, it's only available on Apple iOS devices. As all classic games in the thousand and one games just play before you die book are, it's a mobile game only available on Apple. Honestly, that doesn't bode well in my opinion. I mean, I'm like a classic gamer. I'm like NES, DOS, you know, like Warcraft, Halo, Mario Brothers, you know. I, I hate to say it, but I do kind of judge mobile games and, and, and phone games. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say they're not games, and there certainly have been a handful that I've experienced in my day that I've been like, these are solid. If this was not on a phone, I would I would play it. But truthfully, I don't know if any like crack the bow of like, the this belongs in a thousand and one list. There's a few mobile games, things like Flappy Bird and Candy Crush that I, I might consider putting on a list due to their like societal influence. But when it's an Apple only game, I don't know. And so I actually honestly was quite skeptical of this going in. I apologize for like the low resolution here. My, ca my camera, not even getting the buttons very clearly. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. You guys are here for the commentary, not the awesome visuals anyway. But I will, I will say that I tried this game just a little before recording. And actually, I do think that there's an interesting game here. It's just kind of a shame that it was buried in an Apple-only environment. Like, truthfully, they should remake this game and like put it on something, anything. Just not Apple. Um, well, no, you, you can put it on Apple stuff, actually. Like, like, put it on the Mac, but put it on PC as well. You know what I mean? Like. Or even, you know what, put it on the Mac. If this was on the Mac, instead of just phones, I feel like... Well, I don't know, maybe it would get less... Uh, less uh, users. I feel like there's a real appeal for developers to make, like, phone games, because you can kind of get away with, like, simpler... Like, more basic games than you ever could on PC, so it's, like, faster to develop. And you honestly get millions more in sales. So it's sort of like mobile games are actually oddly very lucrative so anyway um trism let's see what this is all about okay so here's trism the world of trism now this is interesting you might look at this and be like oh god it's another candy crush clone or something i truthfully again full disclosure i'm biased i thought the same thing but look at this it's got this kind of interesting sort of dynamic where you can like slide dyna dynamically on the trisms I think you can slide horizontally too, yeah. So the idea is you're trying to create sets. So, I mean, I, <laughs> in my prototyping of this, I turned out to be very bad at it. But anyway, I made a couple sets there. Okay, I'm gonna play this game widescreen. It'll be easier for you guys to see. Let me uh, position this here. There we go. Try to get the angle just right. The ironic thing is that uh, I can't record any uh, audio from the iPad while I'm doing this, so I'm gonna add in a bit of music in post that I just record afterwards, but I'll be honest, I'm not gonna go crazy for Trism. It kind of is what it is. I'm playing it. Can't ask much more from a guy than that. Like, if playing this game doesn't show dedication to the whole Thousand and One quest, I don't know how to prove that I'm in it to win it, you know? So I truthfully don't know how this game ends. I think you just go until your Trisms are all finished. You have some sort of trism spasm and the end approaches. But yeah, anyway, this is it. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. The party has entered the building. Honestly, I wonder if I could just do this. Like if I just sort of like, you know. Oh, we got, okay, what does this say? Main menu. So, okay, this is hard to read. There, it says I have one, tra one chain and six trisms and 40 points. Um, and that's it. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a way to die. Can I still go? Oh, but you can keep playing if you want. Okay. 
So we'll do this. Uh, <laughs> see, I want to get this one to go here, make a set, but I don't know how to do that. My, my brain, like, isn't isn't built for triangles. I grew up on Dr. Mario and Tetris. I can think in terms of those shapes, but in terms of triangles, I can't really. Oh, what is happening? Oh, that was cool. Okay, so we got a gap. We got some gaps here that we kind of got to get rid of. I'm going to go back to sideways so you guys can see uh, see things a little more easily. Um, I'm having to, like, play this looking over the shoulder of, of a video camera. It's super awkward, actually. It's going to hurt my back to sit this way, too. I mean, this isn't going to be... You, you might have deduced this, but it's not going to be a long video here today. I mean, what, what can we possibly do with Trism? I mean, what we're doing is what you can do. Oh, look at this. Combo time, baby. Three chain. 14 Trisms. Should be illegal. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. Go back up this way. Boom. Oh, we got a rainbow Trism. Uh, okay. We'll just, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, things are happening. It has that sort of candy crush effect where, like, if you clear one, other things will fall on the screen, and it can be like, combo, 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 and you're like, yes, I'm so good. But in reality, it's like you're just lucky, like nothing. Like, I'm not doing anything right now. Look, I'm getting combos. I'm amazing. <laughs> it's like this, l the lowest barrier for uh, skill entry in anything. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hey. Get over here, right there. Hey, get in there. Okay, I thought the rainbow one would let me do that. I guess not. Um, the sort of like diet, the the sort of three ways that you can move, like this way, this, this way, and this way. It's actually kind of interesting. It reminds me of like old puzzle games. When I was a kid, I had a Mattel puzzle game called Lockout. And you, it, it was it had nothing to do with triangles, but it was like it was a physical game, and you can move pieces around, and they had like little locks and stuff, and you're trying to lock and unlock a giant padlock. And I really, I, I played that thing so much. I've actually looked it up on eBay because I'm kind of curious about buying it now as an adult. But it's something crazy, like seventy-seven dollars, and I'm like, well, I'm an adult, but I'm not that kind of adult. I don't have that kind of money. Um. Well, I mean, I, I have $77, don't get me wrong, but not to, like, spend on, like, just a throwaway toy from my childhood for no reason, because I doubt I would actually really play it all that much beyond, like, a little nostalgia the first night or two that I got it. But anyway, all this is to say that I kind of like these sort of, like, puzzly interfaces and stuff. It is kind of interesting, and so I, I there's something about the way it moves that uh, I think is kind of interesting. But, hey, look, there's a, a freebie. Um, anyway, yeah, this is it. I guess let's, uh... Okay, if we go exit... We go break... What's this gonna do? Okay. We can go into play. Let's try a different mode here. What's syllogism? Choose which level. Okay, I'm doing this all sideways because I don't feel like rotating it later. Welcome to syllogism. I didn't even read that. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me let me actually read this. Okay, this says... You guys can't even read this. It looks like a white blurb. There's text here, actually. See, like, if I hold my thumb over it, you can kind of see the outline of it. Um, syllogism is played solely by tilting the object to clear the trisms. It's a good idea. Oh, so you just have to tilt? Oh, interesting. Then you go like this. Oh no, but that's not gonna work. Okay, what if we go like this? You guys can't even see what's happening here. And we go like this. Nothing. Like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's too hard to do with the camera. It's interesting that they have a, a whole different uh, whole different style of play, I'll give you that. Um, there's one other thing called terminism. So this is starshine mode. It's you against the clock, race to make matches or suffer the consequence. Oh good, just what we need is time pressure. It's like I wasn't bad enough at this game already. Let's add a clock. Let me center this for you guys. There you go. Don't say I don't do nothing for you. Uh, 
Boom! Oh, I didn't even see most of those. I just saw the green one. But eat that. Dude. Whoever's in charge of these. Trism guy. Oh, I'll make these all day long. You won't even know who's trisming you. You just turn around and you'll see me. And be like, dude, it was you the whole time. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm talking in total nonsense. I guess I'm starting to get a hang for like... It, it's sort of like you have to recognize the half-complete... Oh, there's a Triforce right there. You have to recognize the half-complete pattern so that you know what you're trying to change to make a complete pattern. If that makes sense. Because, like, look, there's two here and a green one. You might be like, oh, just move the... Oh, wait, this green one doesn't go. But this green one... This green one... Okay, stop doing things, game. I'm trying to show them something. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Are you serious? Are you done? This green one here... <laughs> can do that oh they got like seven more I didn't even, I'm so I I guess I'm bad at this game but I'm I'm doing good things unintentionally which is like I guess the best kind of bad you can be where it's like you actually suck but because you're not planning it out but you do amazing you know so it's like a weird kind of being bad at something you're so bad you're actually competent doesn't work out too much in real life. Anyway, this is it, Trism. I'm about to put it down and look at what the book has to say, I guess. Like, I, like, truthfully, okay. You know, just leave it here like this for you guys for a second. Like, truthfully, this game... Where did I put my book? I normally have it right here. Oh, here it is. So this game is one of the books... One of the books in the game, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. I've made that, that little mistake so many times. It's one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games Just Play Before You Die. And, again, there have been mobile games. You know, Candy Crush, Flappy Bird. Oh, what's the other one? Angry Birds, that's another one. I'm trying to think, like, what other mobile games would I put in? Oh, Snake, the old Nokia Snake I'd put in. Um, what other mobile games have there been that have been super influential? Just sort of iconic, you know? Like, that might be it. Like, maybe Mario Run. Like, maybe. But not even probably. Um, because I think a thousand one list should be more about, like, games that are worth playing as opposed to just historical curiosities. But, you know, there is some... There is space for some historical games. Oh my god, it's not even in this version of the book. Um, I'm looking up the book as I talk. It's kind of hard to do two things. You guys want to see the book? Look, this is more interesting than this. Get out of here, Trism. Look, here's the book. In the flesh, I told you guys this book existed. It tells me all the games to play. Okay, hold on, I have another version of the book around here somewhere. Well, couldn't find the book. And I decided to play a... If I'm gonna play a mobile game, I might as well play a better one. So... Playing some uh, Mario Run. Not a terrible game. Honestly. Oh god, oh I can't believe I made that. If you guys have never played this one, it's okay. It's not my favorite Mario game. Nor is it my favorite mobile game. But as you can see, oh it's, oh I just looked at the screen. Oh my god, the resolution is so bad, it's so blurry. Okay, I gotta stop making this video before people judge me and unsubscribe to my channel. Guys! <laughs> I, I still don't know what the Thousand and One book said about the, um, uh, about Trine or Trism or whatever. But here, here's something for you to think about. There were two versions of the book. There was a revision in 2013. Trism isn't in the revision. So I think that is sort of like a backtracking for them, you know? Oh, I didn't even get the top of the flag. Anyway, this is super blurry. There's no point in you guys watching me play. Guys, if you want to see an actual game that's screen recorded, tune back in soon and we'll play another game in the book. A thousand of the games just play before you die. Till next time, friend, you take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. And, and in the comments, like speculate, what was it about Trism? I'd love to know. And you know, again, like it can be positive too. You can be pro Trism. Like, you don't think you have to go in there and bash. Like, if it was really good or important for some reason, I don't have the book's entry handy because I took it out of the more recent book, but let me know. Let me know. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious what made it so amazing back in the day because maybe, maybe it was very noteworthy when it came out. So who knows? 
So you guys let me know. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Peace.